Let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. Uh, a snow ram, a fierce, proud snow ram. All right, virgin hail. It gives you a bloody nose. Okay. A deep bump, fuzz, intense, a butt static, an extreme knock. Ah, like what the police do. Open up. All right. Um, extreme, intense, right? Fierce. What else? Hmm. Just it, what, another synonym for fierce, intense, and extreme, please. Let's look close, closely. Um, bloody? Not really. Deep bump, fuzz, knock, static. Okay, I don't actually know what else goes with that, so I'm gonna have to hold off. Sorry, if I, if it's obvious, I'll get it later. Um, what was I seeing? I was seeing fuzz. Isn't fuzz like a a a term for the police? The fuzz. Maybe it's that. Of course, maybe not. Fuzz and static. So these are these are both words for like when the TV is on but not tuned to a channel, right? You get all that fuzz and static. Um, you get noise. What else do you get? The snow. Yeah, people might call that the snow. Yeah. So these are names for that. That yeah, like just you're getting a, a non-signal on your TV. Analog TV interference. Nice. Okay. See, I'm old enough for that one. Sorry, Gen Z. <laughs> Um, let's see. We still have intense, extreme, and fierce. Okay, I still don't know what else goes with that. Isn't aren't these terms for drinks like virgin and bloody? I don't know what else would be a term for a drink though. Okay. Um ram and butt and bump. Yeah, you can ram into someone, you can butt into them, you can bump into them, you can knock into them. Ah, I'm happy with that. Bang into. Okay. Uh okay, can I can I now get extreme intense and fierce? Maybe proud? So what would deep, bloody, hail, and virgin be though? Mary. There are are they all Marys? I know Bloody Mary, Hail Mary, and Virgin Mary are all things. I don't know what deep Mary would be, but let's try this. It's not. Okay, so deep might go with this then. Yeah. Passion has a feeling. So what is Bloody Mary, Hail Mary. What's Proud Mary? I'm not sure. Um, when I was thinking about drinks, I was actually thinking about the Virgin Mary <laughs> drink, I'm pretty sure. Um, or the Bloody... No, I was thinking about the Bloody Mary drink. <laughs> the Bloody Mary, not Virgin. Virgin Mary is not a drink. What's the Virgin drink? Is there a specific... Like the Shirley Temple, maybe? I don't know if there's a specific drink that's usually described as Virgin. but Bloody Mary... It, that was just a miss. <laughs> My brain doing weird things there. Bloody Mary is the drink. I'm going to look up Proud Mary. Let's see what that is. All right. It's a song by CCR. Um, I like CCR, but I don't remember Proud Mary. So maybe not, not one of the songs I've heard by them. Cool. Well, this went well. Uh, I figured out the category, even though I didn't know which other word went with Mary. Um, deep going with extreme, fierce, and intense. Passionate as a feeling. I guess so. It doesn't really feel like it fits with the other three to me. I'm I'm happy that I got blue first. I did have plus two to blue though, um, and also I'm old. So anyway, <laughs> how'd you do? Let's do the New York Times mini crossword for Sunday, April twenty eighth. Let's go. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. All right, clothing typically washed on a delicate setting. Um, underwear, bras. I'm not sure. Um, swing one's arms helplessly. Flail, maybe? Quaint, quaint worker at a traveling fair. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Wooly beast of Tibet. Three letter wooly beast of Tibet. I'm not sure. Embed as a mosaic tile. Inlay. We had that before. Um, crowning part of a princess costume. Tiara. Really reek. Like smelly? I'm, I'm not sure. Chain that temporarily dropped the finger licking good slogan during the pandemic. Uh, KFC. Trixie. I'm not sure. What, what's for a cross again? Clothing. Uh, is it knits? Maybe. 
a quaint worker, a car, car carny. I was going to say carny, but I thought carny was IE at the end. A uh, woolly beast of uh, yak. Ooh, I got it. 127. All right. I thought one of these might have been wrong, especially Nits. Okay, what was five down? Trixie, Sly, that makes sense. The Yak is the Beast. Carney, Flail, Nits, Inlay, Tiara, Stink. Oh, really reek Stink. Oh, I, I, I said Smelly, but I couldn't think of Stink with the letters I had. Interesting. All right, um, the, the crosses were a little difficult, but the downs saved the day. Uh, it helps that I knew Inlay from the Mosaic Tile thing. That might have been one of the big crosswords. Now that I think about it, it might have been. Um, but yeah, cool. Well, how'd you do? Let's do strands for April 28th. Today's theme is coming clean. Spooze. <laughs> what? Coming clean. So is that like, normally coming clean means uh, to like admit to something you did. Um, but it could also just be cleaning products, right? We've got ditch here. All right, let's look around the border. I want this to be spoon or something, but you can't actually get to that N. What's this Z doing? Ooze? No, ooze is too short. Zoo is also too short. Um, coming clean. I I don't know what this Z is doing. Razu. <laughs> okay, well we'll come back to that. Roar? No. Soar. Um, roar this way. <laughs> hmm. I thought I saw, saw, oh, I do see sepia. No? Okay. <laughs> Worth a try. I still don't quite know. Oh, we got wash down here. Ooh. Wash, is it washing or wash, wash lot? <laughs> wash, huh? I see dine. Is it something wash, like hand wash or, I, I almost see hand wash. We have hand wash. Is it here? I see itch. I saw ditch earlier. Um, which wash has to be something, but I can't figure it out. We've got watch. Hmm. I don't know. Weird. Is that a red herring? Who knows? What else is around the corner here? Uh, a scone. <laughs> Sorry, it has an e at the end. Can I do Nash or something? Spoo. I still want spoo to be something. We got spam. All right, cleaning stuff. Okay, let's just thinking about think about cleaning. I see pitch. That is not cleaning, but I saw pitch anyway. Uh, cleaning products. <laughs> uh, rag, towel. Um, see, I'm not. I'm soap. Soap. Okay, found one. Um, water. We have water. We have water. Okay, water. Water something. <laughs> so so this wa could be wash or it could be water, but is neither. Um, if this was water, look at this left side here. Idnok. It, it, Hondi. Condi. I don't think it works. All right, soap. We've got, oh, maybe it's shower stuff. Is shower here? I'm looking. Shower here. Shower. I have W-E-R here. Oh, come on. <laughs> there it is, shower. Okay, that's the spanagram. I was using the wrong S, of course. All right, so things you do in the shower. Soap, conditioner, shampoo. Oh, that's got to be what the poo is here, right? Sham, sham, wait. Oh, shampoo this way? Okay, then this is something else. Weird, there's two poos in here. <laughs> uh, Z, Z, what do you do in the shower? That Like razor? Yeah, razor, okay. Uh, sponge, okay. I have to spell it right, unfortunately. Uh, and everyone eats corn in the shower, right? Okay, this is conditioner. Conditioner. Wow, that's long. Okay. And washcloth. Oh. Okay. Nice. Okay, once I figured out it was shower things, not like cleaning your house, <laughs> it made a lot more sense. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed this wasn't spoos, though. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah. Um, pretty straightforward once I figured out the theme. Just had to think about what what you do in the shower and found it. Um, conditioner is crazy. That might be the has. This, I wonder if this is the longest single non spanogram word we've had in um, in strands so far. Let me know if you can think of one longer. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven letters long. Uh, have we had any twelve or longer words as normal words in um, strands before? And yeah, cool. Let me know how you did.